The Center for Endocrine Tumors here in Leiden is a reference center for patients with endocrine tumors and is based upon multidisciplinarity, centered care and research. And the organization of the center is as such that this enables excellence in patient care, uh, optimization of teaching facilities and it also enables us to continue our translational research. Leiden has a long-standing tradition with pituitary care. So the first transgenital surgery in a patient with a pituitary adenoma in the Netherlands was performed here in our center in 1978. And the neurosurgeon was specifically trained in New Haven, in Yale, the center where Harvey Cushing worked until his retirement. And since then, every single patient after pituitary surgery was followed lifelong, which enabled us to make detailed observations of the care and also the cure of the patients. Patients from a relatively large area of the country come to us because it's the focus of the hospital. It's a big privilege to work in a hospital like this because the first patient that was operated on a pituitary tumor was here and since then we've grown and expanded our knowledge base and we base our day-to-day -day care on this knowledge base. What's really special for Center is that's the focus of the hospital. What that means is that we have top-notch equipment, but also we have the time. We get the time to spend with our patients, to interact with each other, to do the treatment together. And that, I think, is the senior people that, that actually treat our patients in the day-to-day -day manner that's special. Well, Genetics and Growth Working Group serves as a center of expertise. It's a center of expertise for the Netherlands, but also for countries abroad. And we meet once a month, and then we meet with the pediatric endocrinologist, myself as a clinical geneticist, the molecular geneticist and the endocrinologist. And my expertise is to look at the patients and see whether they have dysmorphic features or not. Recently we have described a new syndrome. Uh, it's the IGF-1 deficiency syndrome. And uh, it's a syndrome um, uh, characterized by um, central uh, hypothyroidism. First 11 uh, families. Now we have disco discovered uh, 30 families and uh, it's uh, characterized by uh, central uh, hypothyroidism, um, also a large testis in adulthood and also a delayed puberty in uh, childhood. Um, growth hormone deficiency in about 40% and uh, prolactin deficiency. The Laboratory for Diagnostic Genome Analysis offers genetic testing for uh, all genes involved in short and sometimes tall stature. Of course, one of the main focuses is the IGSF1 gene and uh, up till now we have found a lot of different mutations which made, makes it uh, a major player in uh, this diagnostic field. After the diagnosis of uh, Cushing was made, uh, Professor Pereira and his team, uh, they explained to me what for the, let's say, for the near future would be the treatments. They explained to me uh, that maybe there was the possibility that I had also get some uh, radiation. And all those information they gave to me, and finally I knew what the disease meant and what eventually the um, treatment would be. And that uh, helped me a lot for me also to understand the disease and also in the recovery of, um, of my health. I think we have an, a unique setting of because we have a very long-term uh, outcome database that's quite unique. Uh, we were uh, usually um, following the patients for, uh, for many years while other uh, centers refer them back to their physician and it's of course also because of the geographical situation in the Netherlands that it was possible. So we have a very good view of late outcome which is quite unique. And, uh, and the interest in, um, in uh, quality of life, I think we are quite uh, innovative because we uh, focus on the perception of the patient. So we started with focus groups for patients with patients to unravel their perception, their needs and their expectations. So we have a huge ambition for our center. I think we already do a pretty good job in treating our patients. We do a multidisciplinary approach. We do top-notch surgeries. 
but what we really want to do is focus on what the patient needs. So it's, it's called value-based healthcare, it's called patient-centered. We all do say the same thing, but we don't do the same thing. So we are really investigating what the patient thinks is important and how we can add value to that, how we can make that better. That's our goal for the next 10 years, and I really hope we can succeed. We want to do the best surgery possible. So let's say you take a transatlantic flight. Would you rather fly in a plane that's flown by one pilot or two? I think two is probably better. So we do the same in the surgery. We actually do the surgery with two experienced neurosurgeons so that we can make the decisions in the surgery together. And it's about little things, you know. Do I remove this part, yes or no? Do what kind of approach do we take this time? So in Leiden, uh, in the future, we like to expand our innovative and leading role in Europe and also on the national level.